Hello, back for a second YouTube video. Um, so today I am doing a, it's kind of like a rehab uh, workout. I'm currently waiting for a arthroscopy on my left knee uh, for a meniscus tear basically. It's been troublesome, it's been horrible. I've tried to do a year's worth of should I, shouldn't I, do this, do this, but don't do that kind of thing. So it's been like a really roller coaster. Um, but what I have been finding, it's just getting worse. So I've now got my date. So I've got the date for the op. So in the meantime, my coach has been super, super, uh, I wouldn't say patient, because he is a patient person with me, but just super accommodating in terms of what type of um, exercises to do as he's been through similar things. So yes, I can't do running, I can't do, uh, much walking but it is weird that I can do um, certain exercises with pain free basically and one of those is the box squat so it's obviously stopping me at probably 90 degrees so I've got that today I have done a few bits just before just to warm up and some of the other bits of the program um, but now I'm doing some box squats um, it's low weight but it's progress as such and I want to be as fit as I can when I go into the op um, and you know as strong quads as possible to help recover better so and more quickly so box squats it is at what have we got in here 55 um, so let's see how it is let's see it's 45 not 55 come on doing the single leg Romanian deadlifts um, it's really good for your hamstrings and obviously it's a lot of body exercise which I'm doing very few and far apart now apart from this session that the coach has organised for me today so once a week we now hit it doing this so far touch wood I have no pain during this workout the type of pain I get is very much at night uh, very much when I run or walk. So walking is limited. Fine in the gym, fine to walk to the car in the driveway, but as soon as it gets anything longer than that, it's where my knee just starts to hurt and then you start limping again. So it's good that this is good though. Um, but it's good that this is pain free. <laughs> the injured leg. Um, I did it. 10 reps, 20 kilos. I'm ready for the next one. Those living in the UK, what is this weather doing? Just had loads of heavy rain. And then, quite, quite sorry, the sun's come out, so I've got to get the door open, get that vitamin D on me. So, yeah, God, this weather, it needs to change. Anyway, so my next set, I am doing TRX hamstring curls. So like a pull in for your hamstrings. Um, I quite like doing them. Um, find they do target the hamstring well. So I'm doing those next. Let's get anyone else like the TRX. Um, I love it. The TRX is portable, relatively cheap, 
and so many exercises to do on it. So yeah, I use it for all my clients, um, men and women, they all like it. Um, yeah, so hamstring curls, here we go. Hamstring work done. I didn't record the first few exercises I did. Um, they're, they're good, they're great, they're great, they rehab, but I didn't think you would see them. Um, but what I do want to do at the end of this one, that's not on the programme, is just to do some uh, decline sit ups, some crunches. Mm, I'd do like a TRX tuck, so I might do that as well. Let's go. Just like to do a few crunches at the end. It's not the program as I said, but I like them. So if you enjoy an exercise, you tend to do more of them. So follow me on my journey now. Done. So my workout took about an hour, um, and it says I burn 380 calories. So just goes to show you, uh, this is kind of a rehab program I'm currently going on, or pre-surgery um, strength program. And it just shows you you can still burn the calories. Um, lifting weights, keeping moving, makes me feel better. My body. Um, it's preparing itself for an operation, so we want the muscles to be as strong as I can, um, pre-op, um, quick recovery. I had an ACL operation about 12 years ago now, maybe more in fact, maybe more. But um, I remember the surgeon said, get as strong as you can before you go into the op and it helped your recovery. So yes, I did lose centimetres of my quad but certainly I recovered in a lot quicker time than average is, I suppose. So yeah, I was back on, on the cycle as soon as I could get that movement, um, just building up the quad. So and that's what I'm doing. I can't, I can't bear, you know, I can walk for any short distances. I can't run, but I've got the peloton, so I go on that and just do it not too resistant because it then starts to hurt. So I know where my capabilities are on that at the present time, but you know, I found a coach that's great understanding of my current needs and has adapted to it, which is brilliant. So that's the end of the workout. I've got some exciting news coming as well. I'm just waiting for the postman to arrive, or the postwoman. It's normally a lady though, but normally a man, sorry. Um, and when that comes, another video is coming, but I'm really, really excited um, to announce this. Um, yeah, looking forward to it. Have a good day, everyone.